Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending where you are. Uh, my name is Dimitri. I'm part of the product team at UMA. And today, I also have with me Rocky, who is part of the mobile team as well, and Ranjini on the marketing department. Today, we would like to give you an idea about the UMA Office mobile app. We will learn casually, uh, slow pace, um, how to download the app, how to log in, uh, what is the main interface and screens, and what is the core calling functionalities. And after that, we will have, uh, we'll be taking your questions, but feel free to um, you know, submit them at any time uh, you have a question. With that, let me start sharing one of my presentations. Just a second. All right, so I believe the, um, the screen should be going live. So let me switch to this full, full screen. There's a little delay on my side, so hopefully the connection is <clears throat> reliable on your end. All right, so Uma's um, Uma has a portfolio of mobile apps. Uh, today, we specifically will talk about the Uma Office, which is shown in the top um, left corner. This is the app which is used for making phone calls, for messaging, for um, you know, checking your voicemail, and setting different parameters. Okay, so how to get the app? Um, we are available, UMA Office is available on iOS and Android. Uh, the requirement is, you know, you have to be running iOS 12 or up or Android um, operating system version 5 or higher. So all you need to do is go to App Store or Play Store and just search for UMA Office and download the app you see. Again, once again, uh, you may see multiple UMA apps, you need to get the one that is UMA Office. All right. Um, once you download it, you'll see the login screen um, where you'll be asked to provide your um, phone number, extension, and a password. And speaking of the credentials, depending on your role in the company, you may have two sets of credentials. So if you are the admin or the person who you know signed up for UMA, the person who is likely to pay the bill, then you have a set of credentials that would allow you to go, go to the UMA office manager, that's a web interface, and you know configure advanced settings or add additional extensions, et cetera. Um, so these are the credentials that you would only need uh, when you accessing the web, right? When you're accessing the mobile app or desktop, desktop app, you need to uh, authorize with your end user credentials. So again, end user credentials would have a um, so 10 digits plus extension plus your password. Um, main, main tabs or main screens include the context tab where you see uh, the list of your coworkers, so other extensions, as well as uh, your personal or native um, native contact book contacts. Call logs as a combination of the incoming and outgoing calls, as well as at the top right uh, corner, you can switch to the voicemail, which would allow you to see you know, 
of the voice files uh, waiting for you and to access the full screen interface so you can you can hear it and maybe take additional actions such as call that person or message them or you know, delete. Uh, another um, core or central part of the app, of course, is the keypad. This is where you would initiate some of your phone calls. Uh, next important tab is messages. This is where you will see the <clears throat> text messages um, incoming and outgoing for your uh, multiple inboxes depending on your configuration. And last but not least uh, is the more tab. And this is basically where there is a number of different settings that you can, <clears throat> uh, you can uh, alternate according to your preferences. Uh, for example, you can um, adjust uh, voicemail pickup time, you can um, set a call forwarding, and a couple other things. Again, this is more advanced. If you, once you're ready, um, you have additional information and uh, it will be a smooth journey. Now, let's go to the main uh, functionality calling. Um, this is very similar to how the calling feature um, works on your uh, on your default smartphone calling app. Uh, if it is you know, iPhone or Android, you are very likely familiar with those interfaces. It's uh, straightforward. You just uh, enter the desired number and press the green button. Uh, another way to you know, initiate a phone call, you can just uh, browse the list of contacts and uh, you know, tap on the desired record and start a call. And once you are um, in a call, the screen would look similar to this. Maybe slightly different if you are Android. Uh, once on the call again, uh, so what is what is available for you? You can um, <clears throat> put yourself on mute. You can access keypad. You can uh, switch the uh, audio, such as you know maybe you have an external. <clears throat> excuse me, a uh, headset, or you want to use a speakerphone, uh, you can put the call on hold. And then there are a couple uh, advanced options. So the first one is uh, ability to transfer call. And today, um, today we support the following um, transfer options. So when you have an active call, you can transfer to your voicemail. You can transfer to uh, your um, cellular phone number, such as you know, maybe you have AT&T or Verizon, uh, you can transfer that call to another extension. Again, maybe it's your colleague or coworker or somebody who's um, <clears throat> more appropriate. And you can transfer that call to another voicemail, meaning it's just another extension, and maybe your business partner or coworker, whatever is your situation. <clears throat> um, so that's the options available as far as transferring calls. Um, we have a couple more options, advanced call options coming up. Uh, coming up, we anticipate um, in the next uh, few weeks, which would allow to <clears throat> to perform a call recording, uh, move a call. That's also known as a flip a call. So you can <clears throat> ring your other devices. So let's say you have. Um, smartphone, you have maybe desktop uh, app, and you have uh, IP phone, a traditional phone, uh, you are, um, maybe your iPhone or Android is running out of battery, you don't want to lose the uh, client, and you don't see the charger, so you can just quickly move or flip that call to your other device, uh, such as IP phone. And another option here is the ability to park a call, uh, so that um, you know, your other uh, colleagues or coworkers can take that call uh, from a specific uh, parking spot. Okay, uh, another section dedicated to the, or yeah, sorry, another section that is uh, very uh, actually relevant and important um, to calling part 
uh, is about two modes. And today we have void mode and seller mode, and they have um, they're both similar. Again, they uh, allow you to um, <clears throat> to make and receive calls, but they have pros and cons, and we will cover them um, slightly later. We'll come back to that. <clears throat> Next is uh, messaging. So today we support. Um, regular texting, we support group texting up to um, up to 10 people in a group total. We support multimedia messaging, such as you know you can just share photos uh, from your from your phone um, gallery. And another con important concept related to the messaging is um, <clears throat> messaging inbox. So. Depending on your configuration, um, some customer may have multiple inboxes. So, for example, um, me as an you know, end user on extension, I don't know, maybe 10 or 2, I may have um, a number that ends with 5398. And uh, when this inbox is selected, I can see all the corresponding messages associated with this phone number. However, I may have access to company's main uh, inbox, right? In this case, this main inbox is uh, named uh, as a label virtual reception. And <clears throat> in order for me to see text messages re relevant and related to that phone number, I would need to switch this messaging inbox. And there are a couple ways to do this. One is through the top, um, top section of the messaging tab. You just uh, tap on it, and this um, menu will show up and display available uh, messaging box depending on your configuration. Search. <clears throat> Today, uh, we have ability to search across uh, contacts. And the result of the search will be a combination of both. Uh, so let me go back. Um, in this view, you can see that contacts um, are separated into several sections. For example, uh, currency, this is a personal section selected. This is my personal phone book that's the same, my native iPhone uh, book. I just include my friends, family, maybe some of my business partners, but this is separate from the company tab, which is company directory. Right? This are all the other extensions that I have um, I have business phone numbers for, <clears throat> as, you know, through UMA office. And when I initiate a search, uh, the results will be a combination of those two um, phone books, right? So in this case, if I search RA, I'll see people with relevant um, matches from both the company list and my personal phone book. Uh, that's, um, <clears throat> that's an incorrect caption, but um, another option available to all of you in case you need any help you can access um, you can access support right from the app. You can either initiate a phone call, or you can send a, uh, you know send an email, report a mobile app problem, and that's another way to also request an additional feature if there is something that is missing, or you just uh, you have an idea how to improve. Uh, that feedback is always welcome, and we uh, review. Uh, and consider every single uh, uh, input and feedback. Another feature that was um, worth mentioning is the uh, Do Not Disturb mode. They just launched um, earlier um, this week. As you can imagine, it allows you to set the uh, your UMA office business line into the D&D mode in which uh, you won't be disturbed. 
So let's say maybe after 6 p.m. you want to spend some time with family or focus on something else. Um, all you need to do is just tap on this um, half moon interface and you will see that you would not be disturbed until you switch it later. Um, this will uh, automatically send all the calls to your voicemail and there is no no risk of missing anything you know once you're ready to get back to work or spend attention on your business uh, you will see all the text messages and all the voicemails so you can process them whenever it's time good for you and I think that's the that's the last slide I was able to to put together as far as, as of this morning. So let me see what else we may want to to cover. I think I I went through the you know the basics and most of the uh, most common uh, features. One thing I'd like to spend a little bit more time on is um, those two colon modes, uh, VoIP or voice over internet protocol and the server mode. And for that, I would give control to Rocky so she can tell us more about that. And I'm going to stop sharing. Thank you, Dimitri. Um, hi, guys. Uh, I will go over the uh, two different calling modes that we support, VoIP and cellular mode. Uh, Dimitri, before I go ahead and do that, would you like to answer some of the questions in Q and A section? Or absolutely, anything, anything All particular? Right. Uh, yeah. So uh, there is question about the logo. Um, I see that you you looked us up. Thank you so much. You looked us up in App Store and seeing a different logo. Um, the logo in the App Store might be different based on what we have picked up from the screenshot. If you are an Android user and you are seeing a logo that looks like a black background with a phone and Uma, that's the correct one. Uh, so the presentation might have a logo from iOS. Um, I hope that answers your question. Um, there is a question about uh, from Sam about missing, not able to see messaging in Office app. I believe uh, they, need to, they have to enable messaging. You might have to contact your admin to enable messaging on web. That's right, right, Dimitri? Correct. So there could be, um, there could be two, uh, well, there are two cases. If you do not see a messaging tab, uh, meaning the interface where you would uh, read and see those texts is just missing completely, uh, this most likely indication of um, the feature being sort of disabled uh, on the account level, uh, all you need to do is, again, if you're an admin of the account or the person who subscribes, uh, for Uma Office, you just go to Uma Office Manager, and in Advanced Settings, you will see uh, uh, Messaging, and you just need to, you know, check, um, switch the check mark. And after that, when you go to the mobile app, you will see Messaging sections, so you can read, uh, read uh, and write uh, mess messages. Uh, there is another case which. So hopefully that answers your question, but just to be safe uh, for Sam, if you do have access to messaging in the app, but for some reason you are you expect certain messages and you don't see them, so this is quite likely a combination that I um, give a little, let me uh, maybe start sharing in a second. We can just uh, put something in the context. Okay, so uh, again, another case where you may not see um, you know, 
a, a specific message that you're expecting. Uh, it's a case when you have access to multiple messaging inboxes, and uh, you know you may be in inbox associated with you know number um, nine eight, but customer let's say customer message number nine nine, right? Uh, so in order to see that uh, that message or those messages that are in, in that other inbox, uh, just make sure that you uh, uh, you check. You know all the inboxes are available on your account. Uh, I see another uh, question relevant from so Mary asking, um, "How do I delete a message?" Um, do you want me to take well, it up to the again? Yeah, yeah, please. All right. So in Android app right your specific uh, concern is android so in android when you go to a particular message if you have to delete that whole thread you go to your inbox you do a hard press on the message thread you want to delete it gets highlighted and you can delete it uh, same way if you go inside for example you want to delete a specific text inside a thread you go into that thread you hard press on the text you want to delete and it gets selected and you press on the delete button. Um, I hope uh, that helps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's a question from Julie um, saying that um, on her Android, she is not uh, able to see all the features um, of the UMA app. Um, so depending on, <coughs> excuse me, Depending on uh, how uh, um, how long have you been a customer of ours, there is actually a chance that uh, if you joined uh, or subscribed to UMA maybe more than uh, three or four years ago, I would say more than four years ago, you used to have a different um, different Android app. And since then, uh, we branched. Um, Kind of, you know, abandoned and legacy app, uh, and from four years ago, it's all uh, different application. Um, so again, if that's your case, make sure you just go to again to Play Store and see the uh, uh, uninstall. Maybe the the safest way, the you know, the least amount of risk is just uninstall the Uma Office app that you have today, and go back to Play Store and uh, you know search and install the one that you will be able to. Located over there. Um, a second possible scenario why you may not be seeing all these features is again maybe you uh, maybe on your smartphone the um, your configuration on the again, on the operating system level uh, you are set for manual updates only. Right, there is a way to set it automatically. Maybe you chosen to have them. Manually, uh, it could be a preference. By the way, it is actually my my personal preference, uh, <clears throat> for better or worse. But uh, so again, if that's the case, or you could just go to Play Store and you will see uh, a section that is regarding updates and uh, updated to the UMA, uh, you know, update the UMA Office to the latest. Uh, as if we talk about Android, the latest version as of today is um, uh, five to four. And there is a third case why you may not see some of the features that we just uh, <clears throat> walked over earlier. Uh, and that's a scenario where, uh, um, similar to one of the previous questions, the question, the features are available, but um, account admin, again, could be you, maybe you have another person in charge. Uh, account admin needs to go to the UMA office um, Manager and uh, enable those features. And with that, why don't I um, why don't I actually show? It's probably going to be maybe it would be helpful to some of you. Just a second, let me show the Uma Office Manager interface. <clears throat> Just 
going to give a couple of minutes until it's um, showing. Okay, so hopefully you can see my screen. So I am currently authorized as an administrator of this account, and I have access to uh, settings. This is a very you know uh, small uh, account, just a couple of extensions. It could be many more, and. In fact, this account was created uh, very not long ago. So I think there's a chance that some of those features that we're talking about today, they may not be enabled, but let's, let's confirm. So then I go to Uma Office, uh, office.uma.com, authorize as admin, uh, settings, and system. And here there's a number of different parameters uh, so, for example, if you uh, do not see messaging <clears throat> on your iPhone or Android app, that means that uh, messaging is enabled. All you need to do is this. You know, just go over here, uh, messaging section, uh, check this mark, and press save. Uh, there will be just a warning that you know messaging cannot be disabled once it is enabled. And if it's fine with you, uh, <laughs> excuse me, um, just tap on proceed. And after that, when you authorize into the mobile app again, uh, you will be able to see messaging. And this is similar with some other um, features. Again, they would need to be uh, enabled before they are uh, visible on your on your Uma Office mobile app. And with that, I'm going to stop sharing. All right. Thank you, Dimitri. Um, there is a question about uh, from Thomas about the difference between our apps and uh, Apple and Android systems. Uh, Feature-wise, we try to keep them as close to each other as possible. There might be some UI differences because of the platforms, but feature-wise, they are 99% the same. There might be a small here and there. Uh, uh, Shannon, if you log in into Uma Office app on your desk, you should be able to call any number inside and outside your Uma account. So we do not, as long as uh, the phone number is correct, you should be able to call uh, outside cell phone absolutely easily using the Uma mobile app. Um, all right, um, I see a lot more questions coming up. Some might be answered, uh, some questions might be answered after I speak about the VoIP and seller mode a little bit more. Uh, that way, we will come back to the questions after I uh, show how and what the feature is. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. All right. So, um, let's give it a minute. All right. I hope you guys can see uh, my screen now. This is how our iOS app looks like right now. So what is a VoIP mode and the calling? We have two calling modes, VoIP mode and seller mode. So when we are saying talking VoIP mode, we use uh, your internet connection. It can be your Wi-Fi or your cellular data to initiate and answer the calls. Uh, but sometimes we have always been into those situations where we are driving and our, cell, uh, like our internet connection is not strong enough for a good quality call. In those situations, we suggest users to switch to cellular mode, which would then use your uh, cellular minutes to make and receive calls. That way you are not relying on the internet connectivity and get a better quality of uh, audio um, on your call. So the lip, so VoIP call is awesome when you have a very strong internet connection around. Uh, you're at home, you're at office, uh, or you are in a place where your cellular network is good. Go ahead and use your uh, VoIP mode. It doesn't cost any extra, uh, no charges. Cellular mode, again, there are no charges from our side. I should not be saying this, but what I'm trying to say is if you use your uh, Cellular minutes. So if you are on a limited plan, you might 
lose some of your cellular minutes when you use cellular mode, but you get a better quality when you don't have internet connection. Um, on VoIP mode, we provide all of these awesome features where you can transfer the call to another extension or to your cell phone number or to even your voicemail. You can use call recording, call power, call flip, all those beautiful features that Dimitri showed. You can use them in VoIP mode. But if you are on cellular mode, uh, you won't be able to use any of those features. So it's a bargain between those two features. Um, how... Uh, I know there was a question about not being able to see the transfer button. Let me see. Um, uh, Victoria, she asked if she is not able to see the transfer button. I would like to, uh, uh, Victoria, I would suggest you check which calling mode you are using. If you are using cellular mode, we won't be able to show that option. So, how, so what you do is you go to the mobile app. You go to the more section, you go to calling mode and see which mode is selected. If cellular mode is selected, switch back to voice mode and you should be able to see the call transfer button in your next call. Um, I, uh, that's all I had on these two modes. If you have, uh, irrespective of what modes you choose, your voicemails will land in your inbox. They should be calls voicemail. This is where you should be able to see all your voicemails. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me pick up okay, more questions. Stop sharing so I can, yeah, I can, I can oh, send yeah, sure. a couple um, okay. earlier. Okay. You can stop sharing. Thank you. Uh, so I think Bonnie is asking is there is a Windows 10 application or ability to use a PC uh, for UMA office, and the answer, the answer is uh, yes. We do have uh, you know a soft phone or desktop app that has a very similar um, set of uh, features, uh, similar to the mobile app. It is available on both uh, Windows and uh, Mac OS, the Apple system. Um, the only thing to keep in mind is that um, the ability to access um, desktop or soft phone uh, application uh, requires the uh, pro uh, subscription, which is uh, just $5 more uh, per month per extension. Okay, um, there's a similar question from Laura. Um, she had for several years, uh, and uh, she got the perception that we uh, added uh, quite a few features. Uh, thank you, we did. And the uh, question is, do current customers get upgraded to the current capabilities of UMA Office? Um, well, it kind of depends on, you know, for how, when you mentioned you've been a customer for many years, uh, it depends, um, <laughs> excuse me, Exactly, sort of what's this length? Because we we do have some uh, sort of cutoffs that happened, you know, say uh, I want to say about four years ago. But some functionalities that were uh, there was different price points also. Uh, so mm, to do current customers get the upgrade to the card. Uh, well, again, if you signed, if, so it's safe to say. If you signed up in the last uh, you know, four, three and a half years, uh, you have access to, should have access to all of those features. Again, some of them may be just disabled on the account uh, level. You, know, you need to go to the UMA Office Manager on the web to enable them, as been shown earlier. And if you happen to be on an account type that then you, uh, maybe you, subscribed five, six years ago, and uh, you chose not to uh, go with the UMA Office uh, like standard plan, uh, in this case, you will be, uh, you'll be missing uh, some of the features that we've added in the last uh, four years. Uh, namely, you know, you won't, be, you won't get access to messaging and um, things like uh, call flip and call park. And, Uh, 
um, Julie is trying to, uh, Julie is asking if how to uh, update your voicemail messages. Uh, Julie, I believe you will have to dial your phone number and access your voicemail. And in that, there are options like uh, to update your phone number. So from your phone, uh, I mean, from the mobile, UMA mobile app, go ahead and dial your own phone number, uh, extension number. And then when it hits your voicemail, go through the options to update the voicemail messages. Uh, Evie, you said you saw that error. Your administration has uh, administrator has disabled access to your to the mobile app extension. Uh, yes, uh, so you have to log in or ask the admin of your account to log in to web. Go to your extension and enable mobile app options. So there is an option on the web to disable and mobile app, uh, disable and enable mobile apps. Uh, once your administrator enables those, you should be able to log in into the mobile app. Mm -hmm. um, I see another question from Julie, uh, wondering uh, where to, how to update the uh, voicemail message. And there are a couple ways uh, you can go to. So um, from the app, you can just dial your own uh, voicemail box, and you'll be able to. Uh, you know, you'll be transferred to this uh, sort of you know, <coughs> voicemail wizard, and you'll be able to uh, reconfigure. Right. And another way is to <coughs> of reconfigure the voicemail. I go to the uh, again, Uma Office uh, Manager, the website, and there are a couple more options over there. Um, Evie, um, say, just uh, uploaded the updated problem, updated the app uh, uh, with the with the black background and white phone. Uh, so yes, it is the the icon, um, the icon on the Android uh, is um, the um, the phone, um, white phone on the black uh, background, and just as Uma, and the same uh, icon will be um, soon, uh, most likely on the iOS. So it would be there will be no confusion at least with this uh, um, visual uh, language. So they'll be consistent. Uh, black and white. And you sent, went on to sign in, it asked for extensions. Uh, well, um, again, this is going back to the very uh, initial part of the session. Uh, there are two sets of uh, credentials that you uh, get. If you're an account admin person who set up the office, you will have uh, your admin credentials, right, to control and uh, um, monitor the account, yeah, maybe change billing details, etc., plans, whatever it is. And your other credentials are credentials uh, related to your extension. And so that's the credentials that you will want to use when you authorize into UMA Office mobile app so you can make phone calls. If you happen to forget, uh, you know, <clears throat> what's your extension or what is maybe, again, what's your password or what's that number uh, associated with that extension. Again, sounds like you probably are account admin or probably know who it is uh, in your company. Uh, so you just go to to them and uh, or <laughs> go yourself to the UMA Office uh, Manager website and uh, there's a section related to uh, users and you, you will see the list of all the users, all the phone numbers and you can uh, with a couple of clicks, you can just override either resend the password or choose another password, and uh, that should let you authorize into the app based on your, um, your password. Uh, Mary, it looks like you are having issues uh, deleting your uh, messages. Uh, Dimitri, is it okay if I share my screen? 
to show okay, her the back. Yeah, okay. All right, this is my um, app on the Android device. This is my messaging inbox, right? So I hard press, see how it's selected, and there is a delete icon. I tap on delete, it should be deleted. And that's how you delete the whole thread. If I want to delete a single message, so I tap on press hold. Again, the delete icon appeared. I delete, and it gets deleted. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, uh, Patty, I I'm. What I read from your question that, uh, is that you downloaded the app. I'm not, unless until you log in into the app, uh, we do not uh, use any of your phone numbers. But yes, if you have logged in, the only time we use your private phone numbers is to uh, enable seller mode. So you can go into, uh, into your settings and switch to voice mode. That way, we are not you are not using your your cellular phone number. Uh, I think that was all the questions that I could answer. <laughs> Do you think is there anything else for you? I'm scanning. So if, if anybody has uh, more questions, please uh, keep them coming. I think there is just a comment from uh, Evie uh, mentioned that uh, um, there was connection or our connection was lost. So hopefully that's uh, been restored. And uh, sorry about that. Um, Hugh is wondering whether, um, how often these um, trainings are offered. Uh, it is sort of uh, ad hoc, uh, it is currently, but I think we do have plans to make them more frequent in case, in fact, maybe that's a relevant question to uh, check with the to check with Rangini. Do you have an idea um, or a plan for uh, regular trainings in this in such a format? Sorry, I was on mute there. Um, actually, yeah, so I, I think I answered that earlier. We'll do have some uh, trainings set aside. So these are like Q&A, and then we'll be sending out the invites. So definitely coming down in the few months. Sounds great. Yeah, and I think um, again we do have uh, extensive uh, support um, support uh, knowledge base. Right? So you can just go to support.tuma.com and uh, select my office, and you'll see um, plenty of information. And we do have plans to. <clears throat> To make it even, you know, to include more information just inside the app, uh, so you know more details on. <clears throat> we hope it is, of course, uh, convenient and uh, sort of straightforward. Uh, but you never know, and just to be safe, we will be adding additional, uh, sort of, you know, help or uh, frequently asked questions section inside the app. Okay, so, um, there's a question uh, from. Go ahead. Yep. 
All right. So uh, there is a question from Laura regarding um, why they are seeing a different phone number instead of the account number. So I believe, Laura, you are using seller mode. That is why you are seeing uh, a different uh, phone number. Uh, but uh, when you do, it's just for you. When the, you, the people who receive your calls, they would see your phone number. And if you do not want to continue using the MoMA mobile app that way, you, you would switch to voice mode. That way uh, you see the calls going out of your cell phone, uh, sorry, your uh, UMA mobile number. Yeah. Dimitri, do you think a demo for the seller more like a, would be more useful? Or... Yeah, I think uh, we may also have some people join slightly late, so I think that would be, uh, that would be good to have. Yeah, okay, awesome. Um, so uh, I'm going to show how to set up uh, seller mode and how, how it looks like when you use it. Uh, let me first show how it looks like in voice mode. So right currently I'm logged into voice mode. I'm going to call one of my contacts and this is how it would look like, right? Like a normal call, we're going through, I answer it, it works fine. Uh, if I have to switch to seller mode, say I am driving, I need to have a better call quality. I just go, I go to seller mode. Oh. They stop screen sharing. I go to calling mode, see how my seller mode is set up uh, using my cell phone number. The 650 number is the cell phone number that on my device, I set use that cell phone number. And when I try to make a call to the same contact, it will ask us, it will say that it's going through this phone number. But it's actually, uh, the callee or the person you're calling to would actually see your UMA phone number. If this is what you're seeing, Laura, um, this is because you have set up seller mode. You just have to go back to more, switch to. Uh, sorry, I can just check in. Uh, are you still um, in the process of demonstrating something related to the solar mode, or you think we? That it's I think the, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I I think uh, I I stopped screen share. I think we are. That's all I wanted to show. But if somebody wants to see more, please feel free. Send us a message. We will show more details. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for checking. So there's a. Um, there's a question related to account administration. Um, <clears throat> question from Julie. Uh, how do I use my business phone number? Uh, when resetting my password, do I use my business phone number? Okay, well, so let me um, go to a you know real account, which has lots of users, and hopefully we can just see uh, what are some options when it comes to resetting passwords? Um, just a second. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit uh, to make sure this screen is uh, visible to the attendees. Okay, so this is the uh, sort of main login uh, form on the UMA Office Manager on the website. Again, over here you see two, <laughs> excuse me, two different uh, sections uh, where and you would use different uh, sets of credentials uh, depending on your role. Um, if you are a user, end user, then you would need to uh, provide you know, your phone number, extension, and the password. If you're admin, it's just the uh, admin account or the main company number and a password. And this is where, again, if you're an admin and you want to change your password or password of your another you know, coworker or employee, this is probably the recommended the easiest way. So you can see this is my main dashboard. Um, with different people, the company, and let's say I want to change password for Jim Campbell, <coughs> who is extension uh, 1008. So I go to settings for, for his extension 1008. So over here, again, what can I do? I mean, just look in the overview, I can change you know, the way things are presented. I can see which numbers, um, uh, um, what numbers will be his outgoing caller ID. And by the way, I, as an admin, I can change those, right? I can change those outgoing caller ID to be uh, any other extension that is available on my account. I can see uh, devices that uh, Jim is authorized with, uh, not much for not many options for him. Um, yes. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, can you show on the devices screen when you, uh, because they're already here on the devices tab? If you go, uh, can you tap on devices and show where we enable mobile apps that way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for bringing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because they're already on the screen. So, uh, under that, there is allow users to enable mobile apps. That is checked, so that has to be checked for a user to log. Yeah, that one to be able to log in into a mobile app. Yeah, no, yeah. Thank you for mentioning this. That indeed was one of the questions asked earlier. That's another um, scenario that may prevent that again. If for whatever reason uh, on some of those extension um, these check boxes are empty, uh, that person. <coughs> <laughs> won't be able to authorize into the mobile app. But again, back to the password question. So let's go to actually my uh, my extension. I have slightly uh, more devices um, associated with it. Again, I can see if, for example, I want to disable some devices, uh, that would be one way to do it. But if I want to uh, change password, this is the very first tab over here section, uh, basic. So I can either reset or manually overwrite, right? So again, I can just create this password over here. And that's probably the easiest way to uh, create a new password. All right, looks like uh, most of the questions have uh, been addressed. Uh, if uh, for some reason we missed your question, uh, um, we will, um, well, our colleagues from the support uh, team uh, department will uh, follow up, so do not worry. And um, I hope this was uh, somewhat useful and you saw the capabilities and flexibilities of the uh, Uma Office mobile app. And uh, again, thanks for you know, somebody's, uh, Yana is uh, 
Diana is asking where um, whether webinar would be uh, available after the after the session. Yes, I believe uh, you will likely receive a link of this recording. Well, uh, thanks everyone for joining, and uh, until the next time. And um, I hope you have a productive rest of the week, and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bob.